Simple interest. Question 7. We are continuing with the same investment. Suppose you invest $1000 that earns simple interest of 5% per annum. So that is what we have started with and we are continuing with. The idea here is to work with simple values so that you understand the concept, right? And we'll see simple interest from different angles. Question 7. Write the general term TN for your sequence to represent the amount after each year. Okay, so we have moved on to relate your simple interest amount with sequence, right? And question number 8 here is, explain the relation between your general term above with the formula A equals to P times 1 plus RT. So how closely they are related, right? Let's look into this problem now. So, the case is, suppose you invest $1,000 that earns simple interest of 5% per annum, then write general term TN for your sequence to represent the amount after each year. Okay, so with the examples 1 to 6, you know that investment was $1,000, right? So, write $1,000 as our investment. And let's call this as the term T0. Now we invest. Initial investment. So after the end of first year of investment, how much money does it become? So we know T1 is at the end of one year, we gain 5% of this and 5% of $1,000 is $50. So the amount invested increases to 1050, correct? So it becomes 1050. Now at the end of second year, what happens? We only earn interest on the initial amount invested, so at the end of second year, we get 50 more dollars as interest. So it becomes 1100 for us, correct? And at the end of third year, we get 50 more dollars, so it becomes 1150, correct? And at the end of fourth year, another 50, it becomes 1200. Now, that is the sequence you're seeing so do you notice anything? So what we note here is that every year we get in addition $50, right? Starting with initial amount of $1,000, right? We get 50 more. And this 50 more is because of simple interest earned, i.e. equals to P into R into T, right? And as we calculated earlier, P is $1,000. So 1,000 into R, which is 0 0.05, let me do it again. 1,000 is P, right, times R, which is 0 0.05, and time of one year. So 1,000 into 0 0.05 gives us 50, and this is the interest, which is being earned every year. So the amount increases by that amount every year. Now, can you tell me what is going to be our nth term, Tn? with that kind of a pattern going on, right? So what we see is that the initial amount is 1,000, right? So Tn could be 1,000 plus every year we increase by $50. So we can write $50 or in, in the case of this equation, we can write 5% of $1,000. Is that okay? I can write $50 also, right? Plus 50T, right? Because it is... 50 times 1, 50 times 1, 50 times 2, right? 50 times 2 is 100. 50 times 3 is 150. So first let me write this as 50t. So that becomes the pattern for this particular interest, correct? Which you can analyze and because of the given situation, you could also think this as 1000 plus, how do you get 50? You got 50 by multiplying 1000 by 5%, right? So let me write that for you. So that, you know, it becomes simpler for you. So it is like 1000 times 0 0.05t, which gives you 50, right? I'm giving that value 1000 times 0 0.05t because at times in the question, investment may be, let's say some 1500, some, some other amount, and the interest rate is, let's say 7.5% you know what to put where, right, and how to get this amount. So that is what uh, it is. So that is our general term, and we say, well, 
our general term Tn is equals to 1000 plus 50t where t is time at the end of the year right so if I put t as 1 I get 1000 plus 50 which is t1 do you see t as 200 100 more than 1000 that's how it is question 8 explain the relation between your general term above with the formula okay so with the formula we'll use the same formula and see if we get the same term so a is p times 1 plus rt so we say a equals to p is 1000 for us right 1000 times 1 plus r is 0 0.05 t right so let's expand it if we expand it 1000 times 1 is 1000 right so we get 1000 plus 1000 times 0 0.5 is 50 we get 50 t that is exactly the same formula right so this is a relation how we can relate our simple interest formula with the sequence formula. It is an arithmetic sequence formula which you just saw, correct? So simple interest amount which you get after every year increases linearly and it follows your arithmetic sequence, correct? That's how it is. Thank you.